in the next episode. Okay, so we are in the upside down. Uh, it says fink. And it always says fink. What's over here? Oh, oh maybe the is going to be unlocked in this room. What the? Off the head! Don't take the gun! Watch out, blockhead! Go ahead! All right! Gah! isn't giving you the job. Uh, no. I don't think he is. <laughs> Find that gun, Smith. He's upstairs now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. 
Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lynn. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines! Very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lynn. Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Heal my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Ease his burden. Bring Chen Lin back to me. What? You're not Mrs. Lin. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little <laughs> Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Sure. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Tone there, buddy. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. Miss Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. It's as much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. I've never noticed you even had a thimble on your finger. Oh, God, what is that? Do it now. All right. <gasps>
with upgrades. More money. Take this. Perfect timing, dude. There. On it. Here. Okay. I'll be down here. You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to me. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down, brothers. Daisy Fitzroy says there's another way. Another way coming real soon. These people are like this because of Fink? Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. I guess we could head straight for the police station. Or see what's in that bar. What do you think? I think we're gonna back it up, Scal. What I always do.
like that song. Tainted love. The hell? Okay, okay. Hi there. A guitar. I wish I knew how to play. I might just spell some of the gloom. See, she's up there. She's looking this way. There's keys. Okay, fine. When you force deep underground, well, you see things from the bottom up. And down at the bottom of the city, I saw a fire burning. A fire's got heat aplenty, but it ain't got no mouth. Daisy. Now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in Colombia. Excuse me. Okay. Well, uh, I think I found a neck. Get out of the way, Elizabeth. Anyway, I got keys, but I don't even know what this is for. Stuff that 
keeps them unable to use special powers all the time. Fifty percent chance melee. Okay, don't want. Impact. We're gonna have to get through an army to get those two. Make no mistake, soldiers. The monks and weapons come together like fire and gunpowder. Go ahead. Right. Booker here. Oh.
Fitzroy. You... You got a little cunning in you, if nothing else. Dropped a couple grizzly traps around the lines up here. Idea was to... to bleed one of your couriers till he gave you up. Except, of course, you're using kids now. Now I got this tiny engine boy eyeballing me. Tried to take his leg off. Damn things just lying here between us. I sure wish he'd cry or something. Right up your alley. <sighs> Child's play. Yeah, 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 yeah. All yours. Cool. And this episode.